multiple mics going into a multi-channel device and Skype can't hear any channel except the first one, I solved it for free. If you have a multi-channel device, it could be an audio interface like this one that sends two separated channels via USB to the computer. It could be an audio interface that sends more than two channels like this one. It could be a mixer that sends multiple channels or it could even be an audio recorder like this F8, which also acts as an audio interface, a multi-track audio interface. So whichever multi-channel device you have, if you wanna use Skype for remote co-host or for guest interviews on your podcast, you have a problem because Skype only takes one single input. That is a mono input. So on a device like this, it would be the left side or channel one. So channel two, when you have a microphone plugged into that, it's not going to be heard. If you have another device that has channels three, four, five, you're not gonna be able to get Skype and some other software to hear channels two through however many channels you have. So the solution is getting an app, again, that lets us blend all the channels down to a mono output or an input for Skype. I've actually found more than one option in apps to use. So I'm gonna list all those in the description along with all the gear that I'm using here and you can choose the one you like. But I'm gonna focus on the two apps that we need that are actually free. So the first app that is common to everyone on a Mac that you'll need is called Soundflower. And this used to be more of an app but now it's really just a plugin. So it makes it really easy because we're just going to install it and pretty much select it as our input to Skype later on but we don't have to configure it in any special way outside of just installing it. So the app that's free and it's gonna let us combine all the channels is called Ladiocast. I think that's how you say it. Now if you're on Windows, the app that you're gonna to wanna to use is called Voice Meter Banana. It does a whole bunch of things with a goofy name, but it's really cool. And it should be able to combine the channels you need down into a single input for whatever application you're gonna be using for your remote callers. So once you have Soundflower and Ladiocast installed, Here's how we're gonna set that up to combine all the channels. Okay, inside Ladiocast, we're gonna to go to input number one and we're gonna select our input device. So in this case, it's the Scarlett 2i4, which is sending multiple channels and you can see that's pretty hot. So I'm gonna turn that down a little bit, but you can see it's also our left side, channel one. So channel one is selected. You can do pull down here, no channel, channel one, channel two. All right, so it's channel one and you can see here, this says main. So over here, main output. So go ahead and select Soundflower 2 channel from the pull down, and you can see our main is going to our main output. It's our left side. Now we have input number two corresponds to aux output number one over here. And we will select again the 2i4. I'm gonna go ahead and put channel two on the left side, so left, and now aux one which corresponds over here, is also going Soundflower two channel left side. So we have our channel one on the 2i4 and our channel two both going to left side into Soundflower two channel. And then if you had a device that did more inputs, you'd go ahead and keep doing this on input three and input four. So here on Ladiocast, I think we can get up to four and there are other apps that will allow you to do even more channels. So if we pull up Skype and the audio video settings, we wanna take our microphone and make that Soundflower 2 channel. And just to confirm that this second channel is now being heard by Skype, I'll go ahead and make a free test call. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. All right, my mic is going into the second channel on the 2i4 and Skype is hearing it. All right, my mic is going into the second channel on the 2i4 and Skype is hearing it. All right, I hope that was extremely helpful for you. Special thanks to everyone who gave feedback on this. If you have any more questions about the setup, the gear, anything in this video, leave them in the comments. I'll answer them as soon as possible, and I'll see you next time.